it's 4 18 in the morning uh, that's about when my day usually starts uh, actually stepped in a little bit and we're gonna start today at 100 <laughs> percent what am i trying to hang on let me turn the light on let me turn the light on good morning everybody we are going to uh we're gonna get our day started here get a cup of coffee brewing come on coffee my little coffee maker takes uh, pulls just over 800 watts to make that cup of coffee. Yes, it is quite early. It will be a while before it gets uh, daylight out. We do something a little bit different today i've have i've been using these uh portable or uh yeah emergency power portable backup power thingies uh, i have a couple of them from small to this larger one and i, I use it for uh, you know a bunch of different jobs and tasks and stuff but uh i never really like use them for you know like cooking appliances and i and i have several um, well, the trouble is I don't cook much, <laughs> so, um, I don't know, I was just kind of curious, uh, what it would take just to, like, normal use inside for, uh, different appliances and stuff, what it would take to actually run one of these things down, uh, you know, how much I could get done with it, uh, of course, morning coffees, oh, yeah, so I need, I need, I need, like, one more coffee, um, you know, but I have a, what do I have? Oh, I have this uh, toaster oven thing that has the air fryer technology, which I bought this and I haven't used it yet. I've been meaning to. Um, I have a, one of my little George Foreman grills, uh, a toaster. Um, I have used the George Foreman grill for like making uh, a number of things, but I've made like sausage patties for breakfast with it a couple of times. And uh, it works really good for that. Uh, a couple of them fit on there real nice. And I'm just curious to... Uh, oh, and I got a new electric blanket, too. And and what I like about these things, too, is it tells you what different appliances actually use. I mean, how many watts they use. And it's like, yeah, I did point out that this uh, coffee maker, it's kind of a heavy hitter. It does use over 800 watts. So a few cups of coffee, uh, it, it puts a... a a noticeable dent in it uh, pretty quick so right off the bat you know we got a couple of heavy hitters here on the power thing but uh it has a large capacity though that's that's okay i think we'll be able to get a lot of um a lot of other stuff done today but i'm just curious where in the day we say okay it needs recharged you know how well did it hold up so i have some other things i want to get charged up today that i've been using and uh they're they're, they're not things that i charge daily uh, on a daily basis, but while I'm doing this, uh, I'm going to use this. Like I said, we're going to give a little extra effort to running this thing down. Uh, you know, I've been doing a lot of work on the uh, Coachman lately. Uh, yeah, this isn't completely dead, but I have, uh, it's getting there. I know it's, uh, so I want to get a couple things charging. And, oh yeah, down here, we'll turn, turn the USB portion of it on. And so there's that light. Come on, oh, that coffee smells so good. I love me some coffee. And uh, what was I going to say? Okay, yes, yeah, so I got two of these lights. This one's not quite dead yet either. Uh, but I use these pretty often. Even outside around the RV at night looking for something or taking Bell out for a walk, I might uh, take one with us. So, we're going to put this one, we're going to plug this one in too, okay? So that one's charging. And my tablet, I have a new tablet here, and 
it has an excellent battery life, but I know I've run it down. Watch some, uh, watch some streaming some movies on it. And, uh, I watched a pretty long one. So I, I don't know, about, well, it's about four hours left on the battery. It used about four. Let me plug that one in. <laughs> then what else we got? Uh oh, some kind of notification from somewhere. And uh, we got the USB C's down here. So, gotta get my phone. My phone, uh, I usually plug it in at night, but I forgot last night. So, there we go. 47%. So we're going to stack some things up there, get some things charging. And I almost forgot Bella's collar or her nighttime harness. When we go out, uh, especially when we're traveling and uh, we go outside and hang around the campfire and stuff at night, uh, I like her to be well illuminated, keep track of her. So uh, yeah, I don't know when this has been charged last. It's, it's amazing it still lights. Right. So we're just going to pile some stuff up top here. And we'll get this one going too. There we go. With everything charging. It's funny. It's only, uh, it's only 28, 29, 29, 29 watts output. So everything up here is going to charge for a while. We're going to add that to the mix. And my coffee is ready. I made the mistake this morning of watching uh, two review videos on on this unit, and what I usually find is uh, they're really analyzed like high tech guys. It's got you know plugged in uh, some different kind of testers and a oscilloscope and a what you call it analyzer and and a bunch of stuff. And it, and it really some there's some useful information on those videos, but a lot of it's like. I, these are these are the kind of testers I want to see plugged in. I, I I want to see the you know different devices and these are my testers. This this tells me more useful information than you know those high tech stuff. <laughs> so so I am done with coffee. That's I'm I've had enough coffee. I'm getting hungry. We need to. We're gonna. We're going to get some stuff going here, some toast off there, and here, I bought a package of these uh, uh, these frozen uh, sausage patties recently, and uh, I found out they go, they were just really handy to throw in the skillet or uh, in the George Foreman over here, and just uh, put two of those in here, alright, and uh, What I don't like about the George Foreman is, I mean, it's great. I love using it, but it needs its own on-off switch. As soon as you plug it in, it's on. And it stays on until you unplug it. It should have its own on-off switch. And I have already plugged it in, but I left the, the AC outlets over here. I left this button. Uh, I didn't turn that on yet. So we'll just push that. Turn it on from there. And that comes on. And let's put our toaster in. Oh, without the toaster, let's look at that for a minute. So that is using 625 watts with just the uh, the George Foreman. So that's a bit less than the coffee pot, but it does a really good job. So uh, 625, let's get some toast going. Uh, so these are both kind of heavy hitters. They, uh, together, uh, the toaster uses about the same. That's it. Uh, 625 times 2 would be 1250. That's 1230. So the uh, that's easy. And there's actually room. I could run the coffee pot at the same time. This is a 2000. It can put out the 2000 watts. So I could actually run all three of those at the same time. But uh, I'm good. I'm, I've, I've had enough of you uh, coffee. So I think I'm just going to have a, uh, maybe a sausage on toast sandwich. I think I'm going to skip the egg. Uh... That's what I need is a plug-in, an electric egg maker. <laughs> I'm just not going to make the mess over on the stove and dirty up another skillet. Uh, I don't have an electric egg maker. so We'll just have a sausage toast sandwich this morning. Maybe with some cheddar on it. I would really like to try that, uh, that air fryer 
slash toaster oven. We might do that a little bit later. I'd like to make some shrimp or possibly some chicken. I don't know uh, what I want to do with that, but I'd really like to try that today. Uh-oh. Oopsie. <laughs> yeah, that's a little dark. That's that's okay. I kind of like medium to dark toast. Uh, ooh, that's borderline. Much, much more, and I'd be making it over. That's uh, that's as dark as I like it. It's it's still good. It's still good. Sometimes I know some people are funny. They just want a little light toast. I'm just gonna butter her up over this a little bit. How's them sausage patties coming there, George Foreman? Huh? Answer me. I should get a slice of cheddar for on here, right? It is nice that these cook top and bottom at the same time. Uh, this, you know, sometimes I uh, I like to check on it and rotate them just to make a fancy uh, like cross pattern on them. Oh, the light turned green. Yeah, they're they're done. Yeah, it cooks it so much faster doing top and bottom. I'm just gonna let that go for a second, just long enough for me to get find my cheese. Where's my cheese? There. Alright, turn it off. Nah. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that nice? Sometimes it's all about presentation, right? Let there be cheddar. All right, we're just gonna do it like this. That's gonna have to. <laughs> it's gonna. That's gonna have to work. <laughs> Somehow, maybe a little bit of ketchup might be nice on here. But you know, what? sometimes I forget. Um, sometimes I just say the heck with it. I don't want no condiments on it. Sometimes condiments. Uh, sometimes they're yummy and nice, but. Uh, Sometimes it kind of robs some of the flavor too. Sometimes it's just nice to taste the butter and the, the cheese and the sausage. You just get that full flavor. And so that well, depends. What kind of mood I'm in. If I feel like having condiments or not. All right, I'm gonna have my breakfast and then we'll move on to something. I know you smell it. Do, are you gonna get sausage? Are you gonna have a little piece of sausage? Hmm. Here, you can have a little bit of sausage, okay? I don't give her too much uh, sausage ever because you know, sometimes it's, uh, sausage can be spicy and <laughs> can upset her belly. Sometimes just a little taste. Huh. You like sausage? Is sausage good? All right, with breakfast out of the way, we have knocked it down to 85%. Uh, oops, uh, let's call it 84% because but keep in mind we are still charging uh two work lights my tablet my phone and bella's nighttime harness so those things are still on charge and i decided to get my little crock pot out maybe we'll have something um not sure yet <laughs> all right i want to i want to turn this off for a minute i want to i want to show you something about this unit that i really really like i forgot about this the and and by the way there are the six uh ac outlets on this side some of these units uh they're they're just weird like they just seem glitchy uh they're just weird about how they turn on uh you don't know whether the, it's probably in the instructions which uh we don't always read do we uh you know do you hold the button in or just you just turn it on or got to hold it in for so many seconds or how long is long enough and or, or how much is too long to where it just shuts back off or these buttons always seem weird on some of these but this one here is really nice because it it lets you know when you've held it in long enough watch this okay push it in okay it lights up and then it turns on it says okay you've uh <laughs> it, it just it, that just makes much more sense you know where you're at with the dang thing and the same with these uh the on and each one of these sections you have to turn on uh i'm not gonna turn the usbs back on just yet the uh the ac one 
you don't have to hold it in or anything. You just have to push it, period, okay? Oops, let me get in here. That's it. You push it, bang, it comes on. You don't have to sit there and hold it and, and hold it. Now, what I want to see is, now I already put something in the crock pot. I'm not going to tell you what it is just yet. But I want to show you something. It's just a little crock pot. It probably serves, you know, if you really filled it up, probably serves three people, maybe, you know, uh, probably four. Um, but I have it on high. And it only draws 85 watts. Let's round, let's round that up to 100 Okay, say maybe it was just slightly bigger crock pot. Say it used 100 watts. The And this is why I like these readouts. Is This is a 2,000 watt unit. All right, if it, yeah, you know, what, all right, uh, 100 watts. Because in 2020, could I actually run that crock pot for 20 hours? Uh, and Well, because it's only 85, I mean, well beyond 20 hours. So I always thought crock pots used a lot more power. Uh, than that but uh, I mean it is low well I have it on high but I mean it is kind of a slow cooker so it's kind of a low it does get up to temp it's low um, kind of low and slow but I only need that to really cook for okay I'll tell you what it is it's a uh, kielbasa and sauerkraut so <laughs> I really only need to get that up to temperature and then probably put it on low uh, yeah maybe for an hour or two uh, just let it kind of simmer and cook in there so all in all, uh, let me put it on. Let me put it on low. I wonder how many watts when we put it on the low setting. Okay, down to sixty watts. It could sit there and simmer a long, long time. You could run this all day, easy. So anyway, I'm gonna put it all back up on high for at least a half an hour or so. Uh, that's only about half full. That'll get it going, then we'll uh, we'll turn it back down. But, so we did make it, like I said, we made it through lunch. Uh, got it down to 85%, a little bit beyond because of this stuff up here charging. Oh, I need to turn that back on, by the way. So with the, uh, and uh, same thing with that. You just push it and it comes on. You don't have to hold it in forever. So between the crock pot and charging a bunch of devices, uh, that is about 100 watts. And, and I could do this whole arrangement here for 20 hours. <laughs> but some of these things are going to start dropping off. What well, they already have, actually. Something up here is already charged because uh, that's just the way the numbers work out. Probably my phone's already done. All right, we're going to come back to this later. Uh, see what else I can figure out. This will be lunch, probably. And I still don't know what we're going to do for dinner. Oh, i got to show you something else I got. <laughs> Wait a minute. All right, here's what I got is a, an electric blanket. Well, and, well, it's an electric throw. Uh, I mean, same thing. You can throw it over top of the bed. It's And it's plenty big It's plenty big enough to th um, fit over uh, most of my bed, well over on the Bella side. <laughs> but I, I'm curious here. Now, I'm told it uses very little power, which means... Let me put it over here a minute. Hang on. Let me, let me do something. All right. As you can see, it's pretty. It's 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 pretty big as well up over here. It's 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 pretty nice size. And what I had done here for a minute was I I interrupted the crock pot and I should have taken notice what time I put that on. I think it was around nine or nine thirty this morning. I think it's going on eleven. Uh, yeah, it's getting uh it's getting all bubbly and uh, pretty dang hot. So I'm gonna turn that down here in a little bit. But um, for the moment, I unplugged it. Uh, because I, I wanted to get an accurate reading. I'll, I'll plug the electric blanket in, and, and let's see how this goes. Let's put it on low. Uh, wow, that's 130. It's coming down. Hang on. All right, let's give that a minute. Here, I've sped things up a bit. I went ahead and put it the whole way on high and then gave it a minute to um, uh, settle in. And it's down to almost 60 watts. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, so I see what's happening here is, is this uh, cycles. You know, it, it's uh, like a, a thermostat. So it kicks on for a little bit and kicks off. Kicks on a little bit, kicks off. And so it seems to run between 100 
watts and then down to about 60 and then it kicks back up to 100 uh, I think that's what's going on here but I don't know why when I first plugged it in it was up a little bit over 100 bit and now it seems to be cycling between 60 and 100 watts so even at 100 watts uh, if this thing was only 50% uh, charged uh, that would be a thousand watts, a hundred watts. It would run this electric blanket for 10 hours. And I wouldn't need it for 10 hours, but, uh, you know, this would save on propane. I could run the, I could run the, uh, buddy heater a little bit less. And, uh, I only run it on low anyway at times and the furnace. And, uh, not to mention all these other appliances, uh, I run too. If I can run them on, uh, this, uh, you know, it saves on propane. Yeah, it's a 72, 71. Yeah, so this doesn't use much power. It can run it for hours and hours and hours. Chances are I'll use it maybe in the morning for a little bit or in the evening uh, just to shorten up, uh, you know, furnace run time. Yeah, because I often sit at the over here at the window and uh, work and mess around on the laptop and uh, get a little bit of fresh air. Sometimes it gets a little bit cool. Uh, but I still like to have the window cracked a little bit. It's nice to get a little bit of fresh air. Yes, just having this thing on for a couple of minutes is already nice. And <laughs> I like it. I like it. The thing with these is, uh, my favorite thing about these is that they have that far, that fast charging. What do they call it? Super charging. Fast charging uh, uh, um, capability that... Uh, Honestly, these smaller ones that I have, I have a couple of 1,000 watt ones. I know I've mentioned this somewhere before that, you know, they take seven to eight hours to charge. And and that's a, that's a hassle. Um, you know, and they're all rechargeable. You can recharge them with solar. Yeah, or uh, you can just plug it in. If you're plugged in somewhere or on the generator, you can charge them that way. But they just take a long, the smaller ones, they just take a long time to charge. And I've kind of cheated with, uh, I do use the smaller ones, but sometimes I cheat. What I do is, because this is fast charging, I can charge, I can charge, now I get this math, the 1,000 watt takes seven to eight hours. The 2,000 watt, uh, run it the whole way to zero, it takes only two hours. That's like eight times faster, right? The 1,000 at eight hours. If I did it twice to make 2,000, the equivalent of to get 2,000, that's 16 hours. This charges that much in, in two hours. So what I'll do is, uh, while I use, I, they each have their own purpose. I use them all a little bit differently for different things, just because convenience and size and stuff. Uh, when I do need to recharge the smaller ones, I just plug it in. If this needs, I'll charge this up uh, in that short amount of time. And I'll plug one of those in and, you know, depletes it by basically half. But, you know, I didn't have to run the generator for eight hours to charge it. I ran, I ran it for two hours to charge this, used half of it and still have la uh, half left. So uh, that saves on all the noisy generator time. And, uh, or, you know, I can plug it into the solar uh, and charge off my onboard solar systems too. Uh, you know, but it's getting to be a shorter time of the year. I'm real, I'm real cautious with this. I, I mean, I do, I do do it some, but that I kind of watch because of the shorter, shorter days this time of year. Um, but, uh, yeah, so it has the regular, the AC plug-in charger over here. It has the solar port, uh, the plug-in solar over here. And all the typical stuff, the, the 12 volt cigarette lighter thingy and the USBs and everything. We all know what those are. And, uh, again, the AC things over on the other side. Oh, and the, the up top. Yeah. Another uh, favorite thing about this too is these should be about done. Yeah. That one is, um, uh, my tablet. Uh, you know, it does have that storage up top for all the cables. Instead of losing them or just getting tangled up and oh, where I put my cables at, you know, whatever. It's it's so nice that you can store them on board. It's very nice. All right, all my USB devices have all got a, a nice charge, so we're 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 done with that. Oops, I got distracted. It's a good thing I put this on here because it is bubbling and it's just slightly. We're just very slightly out of level. It's enough that the liquid is all uh, forming here. Ooh yeah it's definitely needs turned down um 
it's pro probably more than done. Oh, geez, it's after lunchtime. It's afternoon already. Where are we at here? What is this? Um, yeah, it was using 60, uh, 60 watts. Where are we at here? Down to 63%. Yeah, I probably didn't need to cook that that long. Oops. But, oh, is it smelling good in here? <laughs> Well, this wasn't the best choice in buns. Uh, I didn't think to get uh, maybe like some sausage rolls or something. So I'm just using a generic uh, hamburger bun. That doesn't always work out real well. They kind of get soggy and fall apart, but it's still delicious nonetheless. And uh, this is uh, homemade uh, sauerkraut from the uh, Amish. Uh, I picked up a nice jar of that. Uh, pretty late summer. I'm carrying that around, wanting to make that, so. That's what's going to be for lunch today is kielbasa, sauerkraut, a little bit of ketchup this time on here. Might have one or two of these. What's going on out here? All right, it's getting late in the day. We've been out all afternoon, hanging out and visiting with some friends. And the sun has gone behind the mountain there. And uh, the air is cooling. It's going to be about dinner time. Soon, I'm getting hot, starting to get hungry. I've been wanting to use this. I bought it, it's brand new. I've only turned it on one time just to make sure it wasn't a dud I got from the store. So, and brought it up to pretty hot temperature, you know, probably for about 10 minutes or so, just to burn off. And, you know, if there's anything from being in the factory and getting assembled, I always run, run something through a heat cycle, a full heat cycle first. So I, I think it's ready to go. Uh, I'm confused. I don't know what all this, these, racks are for or these like there's a basket in here um do you put french fries or something in it like you know like loose finger food and cook them in a basket but then and of course it has a tray it has a top tray in here that's something like i would put wait 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 here's a part here's a hang on let me get this out of here what's this for okay is that also you could cook different things on top of that and I know you might say it's a drip tray, but no, the drip tray is down here at the very, very bottom. So that's the drip tray. Um, I think this thing you can use either on top of the rack or it has these little grooves uh, on underneath that you can actually put it under the rack. So maybe that can act as like... Uh, another drip tray just to save you easier to take that one out and clean it and this is for like maybe big spills the main drip tray so maybe that can be used for cooking or a drip tray i don't know and uh of course you know like the main cooking rack like most toaster ovens have but then yeah then the basket too i you know i don't, I don't know i lost the manual that came with it <laughs> i put it somewhere and then uh i thought i did but i haven't been able to find it but and this has uh the regular settings different temperatures and i should get to turn the lights on in here pretty soon and then up here down here it says what does it say um broil and uh what's that say toast and then over here is this air frying mode so that's like temperature oh, i already turned it the whole way up yeah, you know, the different temperatures and then up to the bro uh, broil and toast and then all the way over into air fry. Now, the only guidelines I have for trying to air fry something, and I might do shrimp, is uh, breaded shrimp. I've only been told that, and maybe they've updated instructions on different food packages, but word of mouth is that you just uh, cook it about two thirds of the suggested time for an oven. So we'll see like what the shrimp package says and we'll do our calculations and try the air fry thing because it's supposed to make things a little crispier, uh, like they're supposed to be not soggy, like microwave soggy, but uh, actually nice and crispy kind of made. So we'll see what happens here. We're going to do this in just a little bit. All right. Oh, let me see if this light's going to work. All right. We're going to try something here. Uh, never before. Look, I got some, uh, I got some, we're going to. I don't buy fries often at all. I don't. Um, just got the urge. And I tried making them. Uh, I've made some in a George Foreman grill. And uh, it's taken some experiment. But I, I finally think I got it figured out how to, how to cook them long enough. This uh, 
we're gonna experiment with fries because I'd rather take a risk and a chance doing fries than I would uh, want to ruin shrimp, right? So we're gonna do a trial thing here. Now I'm gonna turn this uh, this thing back on. Uh, by the way, this is this uh, this power thing is from FF. It's called FF Power, and uh, yeah, and they sent me like a discount code and all that stuff. And down the bottom of the video, there'll be the, the link for this thing. But I need to turn this back on. Presto Magico. It's still two thirds full, well, almost. It would have been if I hadn't left the crock pot go for so long. It's uh, still at 62%, so we should have plenty, plenty, plenty of power to do some dinner here. And then uh, I might even make a snack thing after, after bed. I don't know. We're just playing with the, we're just playing with some food stuff today and uh, this evening. I think I'm gonna get rid of this lower drip tray. I think fries. I don't know. Um, maybe I'll just be crispier. You know, I don't want soggy fries. Maybe this air will flow in here a little bit better or, or whatever whatever it does. It'll do whatever it does better. All that. Um, oh, and I noticed the directions on these things also have, oh, oops, <laughs> I dumped fries out on the table uh, or in the pan. Uh, there are air fryer instructions on this. So I didn't even realize that. Um, uh, in this day and age when there's air fryers what's it say of course i opened it on the bottom so i can't wait, wait, what's it say air fryer preheat to uh, 360 for 12 or 13 minutes 360 uh so <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and put it on there first where's that three 350 three a little bit over 350 is 360 right um but i don't get it because the air fryer mode is over here like it's all on the same knob i can't have it on 360 and an air fryer at the same time i'm not sure what to do here um <laughs> no let's just let's just dump some out here maybe i'll make a, like another batch tomorrow or something and uh, we'll try it both ways let me dump them a couple on there it says not to put too many in there, like a half a, yeah, uh, yeah. well, whatever. You know, we're just gonna, uh, some of this is gonna be trial and error. So uh, uh, that's back on the timer, what did it say? 12 or 13 minutes, is that what it said? Uh, well, I need to turn the power button on. So do we just sit here? <laughs> All right, I'll turn this off and then back on when we're, uh, when we get ready, when it, when it gets closer to being ready. I guess that means we're ended up having fish and chips, or uh, well, that's seafood and chips. We'll, we'll call it fish and chips, even though it's shrimp and, ch shrimp and chips. <laughs> I think we're about halfway there. We're not looking golden crispy just yet. We'll check back. Well, according to these directions, uh, I don't know if they're got done very well at all. They're not, they're certainly not frozen anymore, but they're not all kind of, you know, golden brown crispy like air fryers are advertised to be. It's not what I, not what I expected. I might save these, uh, these potatoes, might chop them up and have them like home fries uh, for breakfast in the morning and, and just make a second batch. Well, it's hot. Well, it's hot. And it's hot the whole way through, but it's not the air fryer, uh, what I expected out of an air fryer. So maybe I'll just ignore that temperature thing, put it in air fryer mode, and try a second batch. Let's try, uh, oops. That might be a little couple too many. Uh, let's try, let's try, uh, Come on, air fryer technology. I've heard wonderful things. I just, I want you to work for me. I want you to work for me. Okay, let's just put a little medium. Uh, that's actually pretty good. That's a pretty good batch there. We'll uh, see what happens with this one here. Crank her up to air fry the whole way. We'll do the same thing up to, uh, oops, let's say 12, 13 minutes. 
We're gonna put it on about 13. We're still doing good. We're at uh, hanging in there at 55%. So, you know, we've done breakfast, and we've done co morning coffee, breakfast, lunch, uh, getting dinner underway, and we're still well over 50%, so we'll do, it. we'll do okay. We'll have dinner made here and still have some power left for uh, this evening if we need it. Okay, the timer just went ding. Uh, these already actually look... A little bit better and they don't look as wet like the other ones uh, they look a little browner uh, yeah these look a little better but it might be better to put something like this or uh, get these uh, thinner fries I don't know uh, like the thinner shoestring type fries I don't know I don't know but I guess I'm comfortable enough to try some shrimp <laughs> we're gonna we might have a fry or two a little salt on them maybe a little a little Heinz ketchup come on there Just put a little bit on there yeah they don't look as like wet or greasy yeah these aren't bad they're better. Yeah, these are definitely better. These are definitely uh, just seem a little more uh, drier. Uh, not not dry. That's the wrong word. Uh, just a little more well done and uh, just a better feel, texture, whatever. Like they're. Uh, I guess they're on the verge of summer browning some tips and stuff, but they, they seem much better done this way. Mm hmm. Mm. Okay, so the heck with the degrees. I just put it in air fryer mode, and whatever the degrees are, whatever they are, they are. I like them. Let's try the shrimp. Although that did take some doing, we well we did make two batches, but we're down to uh, forty six percent. Uh, we're still doing good, I think. We've gotten a lot done today, and uh, just a little over half of that. And we don't have that much more to do today. Uh, now I've never bought these before. These look good, but I never tried them. These CPAC jumbo butterfly shrimp. It says oven crispy. Yes, but it does. It. What about what about air fryer? crispy we're gonna find out same thing this had air fryer uh from from frozen arrange in a single layer for half a package seven to eight minutes and i'm gonna keep my french fries handy here funny thing it didn't say how much for a, a whole um a whole package so we'll put roughly half in there We'll spread them out nice. Looks like a sick shrimp to me. Mmm. I don't have any cocktail sauce. We'll be, oops, that was hot. <laughs> we'll be using, uh, I mean, ketchup for everything tonight. Uh, so, same thing. Oh, no. What'd it say? There's not, how many minutes did that say? So, oh, seven or eight. So, that's about, ooh, that's about there. All right, away we go. It occurred to me, uh, while well, I've been using this for, you know, just cooking kind of type of stuff today. I mean, all the other uses, anything electrical, recharging power tools and my e-bike and uh, just a bunch of stuff. I mean, anything electrical. Uh, dang near. I mean, it does have its limits, but 2,000 watts is a lot. So it's to cover any kind of household tool or uh, uh, cooking thing or hair dryer or i mean my little washing machine um what else but it, it, it the thought occurred to me like for its one of its primary purposes or uh uses is like for emergency backup power uh it it can run my residential refrigerator re refrigerator it's like 9.8 cubic feet it can run that it uses 1200 watt hours in a day 
in a 24 hour period and that's 2000 watts so it easily run it a day and a half uh if there was a power outage you know i mean if you were to use this at home or your garage or whatever uh so in case of a storm you know you could run your residential fridge for yeah a whole day and a half i mean most cases the power's back on by then uh so you could run that and probably watch tv and plug a number of things into it but what occurred to me was a lot of people have these backup have uh, gasoline backup generators in case yeah in case of a storm power outage um but there you are you're running your generator for you know your gas generators out there running all day or all night or uh you could just charge this up in two hours uh you know from zero completely depleted depleted you could charge it up in two hours and just use it and run out run all your stuff and then uh when it does get depleted if the power's not back on again you could just start your generator up for two hours and have all that power all over again and you know shut the generator back off and you, you don't have to run that noisy generator outside your house or uh, garage power and you know your your stuff so i'd rather top this off or you know or re recharge it in that short amount of time than have generator running all dang day uh, and that so that applies to home use or you know rv things same thing you could run this, you know cpaps all night electric blankets i'm gonna i'm gonna have power left over i actually have plenty of power left over that i can uh use mine tonight it's gonna be cooler and a bit windy today uh tonight so i hear it already picking up uh yeah so we're probably down to about 40 percent so I, I have to figure that out if my electric blanket uses less than 100 watts i mean 40 wait the wait that's what i have to see how many watts are left <laughs> it's getting too late in the day for me to be doing math now these things are looking like really brown and crispy i oh okay all right um perfect timing and my french fries all disappeared oh but there's a fresh bottle or a puddle of ketchup there so well we're gonna be all right come on shrimpies mm -mm. oh they look they look pretty oh they are kind of um I, they seem nicely done everybody get on the plate there these are the nice golden brown very nice i'm gonna let those cool just a little bit first <laughs> these are perfectly done they're they're they are they're crunch just a little bit crunchy crispy just nice mm. Mm hmm mm hmm <laughs> I think I'm at least sold on the air fryer. The French fries were definitely better in the air fryer mode. These came out wonderful. They're very nice. I'd be happy to get them with this level of doneness and texture and uh, yeah, crispness. Right, that's, I'd expect it to get out, you know, get it out somewhere like this. Beautiful. Mm. Well, this is nice to know. Uh, I also thought this uh, TV used, I don't know, um, more than what it's showing. I was gonna watch some TV tonight and I plugged it in here. The TV only uses 34 watts. That's a that's like less than half of what I thought it used. I think it's a 34, 31 inch or 32 inch TV. I'm, uh, I don't think it's, yeah, it's nothing near a 40. But I figured I always used uh, something probably closer to 100 watts. It's only 34 watts. So we're just going to... Uh, I got my electric blanket out over here. <laughs> Hang on a second. We are going to come up a little bit short of running that thing completely empty. I decided to... Uh, yeah, I'm going to watch a little bit of TV this evening. And I did get the... Uh, and it is getting cooler in here. I'm not gonna bother turning the furnace up uh, on yet, uh, but I did get this electric blanket and plug it back in and put it on medium. And according to the, the thing over there, yeah, between, yeah, just the electric blanket, the TV is running now. And according to the readout over there, so it does say I'm pulling a total of about 120 
uh, watts. Uh, let's drop the way down. Oh, that's right, because the, the electric blanket kind of, you know, uh, triggers on and off. Yeah, it warmed up, and now the electric blanket shut off for a bit. And then it'll kick back on, back up to about 120 watts. So, and at that rate, uh, and this is going to fluctuate. It said four hours, but then it, then it recalculates at only 34 watts, just the TV, 11 hours remain. When it was, the electric blanket was uh, triggered on, which it'll come back on again, then it changes that calculation to, well, it was said five hours, then it was down to four. So with that, with, uh, with that thing kicking on and off, we could probably pull some kind of average Maybe it would. Uh, we could run it another seven or eight hours. Well, I'm not going to watch TV and <laughs> be up for another seven or eight hours. So we'll probably still end up at you know somewhere 25, 30 percent that we didn't end up using today, which is fine. You know, we did a lot with it today, and that left room we could have done certainly done some more things. We only used that'll be basically you know we've used about 75 percent of it, uh, if quite that. Uh, another 25% remains roughly. Uh, I don't know what we could have done with that. But uh, I don't like to run my devices completely to zero anyway. It's kind of like your gas tank. You know, usually a lot of people, they get down to about a quarter tank. They're go ahead and getting refueled, you know. Um, getting refueled, yes. So, yeah, it is getting late. <laughs> anyway, uh, so these things are on sale. Uh, they're a couple hundred dollars off. I think they were originally like 14 something down to 12 something, something like that. There, so there's a link down in the description. If you follow that particular link, make sure you follow that link. Don't, don't just go Google the FF Powers thing because I think their own website, it's slightly more expensive. If you use that link that they sent me, um, I provided that link. And it shows the amount off, plus there's a, you can add a discount code on top of that, which is like day five, I think is the code. So that knocks even more off. So I forget what the uh, final price ends up being, but you know, this market has gotten really competitive. People are really trimming the fat and lowering their prices and having sales and specials and all that, especially this time of year with the, the Black Friday thing. That might be part of all that too. I don't know, but, uh, Anyway, all that information will be down in the product in the video description, so check all that out. Uh, they're just incredibly useful, and, and the biggest thing is that, uh, to me, the, and the biggest feature is that quick charge feature. You just run your generator for a little bit, and then you got power to do whatever you want all day long. Then another quick recharge, and you, you know, on and on. So it's a lot better than these ones that take all dang day to recharge. I that's my favorite feature of these. Anyway. Yeah, I'm getting tired, so I'm going to watch a little TV and uh, go to bed. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out today. If you got any tips or tricks, um, cooking the cooking thing is not my strong point. I used to do better when I was raising my boys myself, and uh, and I've gotten away from it. And uh, I'm trying to get kind of re-interested, uh, even just managing some basics, let alone getting a little creative. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Try to get back to it. That's all I got today. I'll see you next time.